Okay, it's that time of the day again. And we need we need to sort this out, guys. I need you guys' opinion on this. Let's make it very realistic. And I'll be able to answer this question or give you guys tips based on my experience for having more than $400,000 in payout with profits in a year, 2023, documented everything. So this is the question. I want to hear your opinion. Please, everyone, I want to hear your opinion on the comment section. Which one you've tried and other, whether you succeeded or not. All right? Good. So the, the first question is, or the main question is, if I have to give you a hundred or five hundred dollars, will you prefer to flip that one hundred dollars or that five hundred dollars to one hundred thousand dollars? Or will you prefer to use that five hundred dollars to buy a one hundred thousand dollar profit account? Question again, if I give you five hundred dollars, will you try or will you prefer to try on flipping that five hundred dollars? To one hundred thousand dollars on your private account, or will you prefer to use that five hundred dollars to buy a one hundred thousand dollar profit account? Because a one hundred thousand dollar profit account costs five hundred dollars. Which one will you prefer? Okay, as for me, I've tried both ways. I've tried flipping a five hundred dollar account to one hundred thousand dollars, and I've tried uh, buying a one hundred thousand dollar profit account with five hundred dollars. And let me tell you guys which one works for me and why I decided to go with that one. In 2023, uh, by March 2023, I remember I was in Czech Republic back then. I did a video telling you guys that I want to go back to pro firms. After about three years, I wanted to go back to pro firm because I needed a million dollars to trade. I needed two millions or three millions to trade. So I did a video on my YouTube channel telling people I want to go back to pro firms. Uh, we're sharing ideas. We're doing stuff, discussing up and down. Then I'm like, okay, I want to pull the trigger and there's an approach I have. I already shared that approach on my YouTube channel as well. So on that approach, I started with one with a $100,000 profit account, right? So with $500, I bought two $100,000. With uh, $500, yes, I bought a prop firm account worth, uh, with a balance of $100,000. So with that $100,000 profit account, I split it into two. So I split into two, bought one fifty thousand dollar profit account and one fifty thousand dollar profit account because I was giving myself room for failure. I was like, okay, if I want to fill one of these profit firms, my goal is to get one funded. And if I get one funded, my target is just to get ten percent. And if I get ten percent on that one that is funded, my goal is to reinvest fifty percent on buying more profit firms. So and that was actually what happened. One, I blew one because no matter who you are in forex trading, you're going to lose some accounts, whether you like it or not. No matter who you are, you're going to lose some account. You are going to lose some trades. Some days are not going to be good ones, no matter who you are. So I already gave myself a room for failure. So one of those accounts, I lost one of those accounts and only one, I succeeded to pass only one. And that one that I passed, behold, I made the 10%. I made a 10% withdraw $5,000 and my share was almost about $4,000. I remember with the funded trader, my share was almost about $4,000. And that $4,000, I had to reinvest 50% and 50% goes to my private account. I reinvested $2,000 and with $2,000 at that point in time, I bought pro firms worth $400,000, you see. So with that $400,000, I just come back with the same 50, with the same 50, 10, 50 per, uh, rule. 50, 10, 50. 50% 50 is my target. So I split the two accounts, 50%. My goal is to get 50% funded. Once I'm funded, my target is to make 10%. And once I've made 10%, 50% of that goes back into buying more profits. I just kept doing that. And by the end of 2023 alone, the videos on my YouTube channel with all the screenshots, with all the payouts, with all the profits I traded with. End of 2023 alone, I made more than, I got more than $400,000 in payout with different profits with a capital of almost about 5.5 million dollars across more than eight different profits go to my youtube channel you're going to see the video right there so you can see from 100 from 500 dollars that i started i ended the year with almost about 400 thousand dollars in payout with almost about a capital of 5.5 million so if had it been that i was trying to flip that uh, 500 dollars in my private account to one hundred thousand dollars first thing the first thing would have happened was i would have already start uh, started putting pressure on myself my trading psychological would have been messed up simple i would have already started putting pressure on myself because for you attempting to flip 
$500 to $100,000 in your private account. What you want to do is, the first thing you need to do is to over leverage. And when you're leveraging, leveraging is a two-sided sword. The, and the most dangerous side is if the market goes in your uh, against you, you're going to blow everything, you're going to lose everything. So if you're attempting to flip $500 to $100,000, the first thing is you have to over uh, leverage. So I knew very well that if I'm over leveraging, there's, there's, there's a possibility that I can blow all that money. But if I put it in pro firms, and even if I'm leveraging in that pro firm, I can lose one account, and no matter what happened with my strategies, with my nine years of experience, I'll get at least one of those accounts funded. And from there, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over to get to my target. You see, so it was easy for me to easily use that $500 to buy a $100,000 pro firm account or to buy $100,000 pro firm accounts than trying to flip it because you only try to flip a $100,000 account to $100,000 one time out of 1,000 tries. Go and argue whosoever you want. You only try, you only succeed to get a $500 account to $100,000 one out of 1,000 times of trying. Even the biggest pro firms, the biggest hedge funds that trade with billions, their target per year, per annum, is just about 10% of everything they trade. So you trying to take $500 to $100,000 is first unrealistic. Stop following all these charlatan gurus uh, you see on the internet. Please stop, stop, stop. Just stop following all these charlatan gurus you see here and there. These gurus are not going to, they, they just, they just selling you a dream. It's not possible. It's not realistic. So. The bottom line is what worked for me. I've tried both ways. I've tried flipping a one hundred dollar to ten thousand, doing this. But even the one time that I succeeded, I've lost more than one thousand times. So the good way to go is the conservative way, the slowly and surely way. You need to treat forex as something you need to still. You want to still be trading ten years to come. You should be able to treat forex as something you want to still be trading next year. Don't come into this thing as if it's a get rich quick scheme just because you see person number A, your charlatan guru number one is buying a car and trying to sell you a dream. You say, no, I need to, I want to flip a $500 account to $100,000 so that I can buy my own Lambo, buy my own Ferrari, bro. It's not possible. This is not the Forex industry we are talking about. That's network marketing and not Forex trading. So yes, 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 yes. A pro firm is the best thing that ever happens to any Forex trader. And the best thing I'll advise you guys, if you have this small capital, stop trying to flip this small capital to unreasonable or unreasonably big amounts and use that amount to buy a pro firm account and practice a consistently profitable strategy. Stop following all this gambling strategy where people buy different pro firm accounts, use high leverage, buy on this one and sell on this one at the same time, hoping one is going to get for... Bro, we've seen, I've worked on the pro firm of, on the back end of pro firms for more than six years. I'm personally the owner of a pro firm. So I've seen all of those things on the back end. And the best approach I can tell you guys is, first of all, get a strategy that is working, number one. And then if you have a small amount, $200, $100, $500, use it to buy a pro firm account or follow the 50% rule. Meaning if you can buy pro firms worth $500, split it into two and buy two pro firms, two, two, $250, maybe 50 uh, a $50,000 pro firm account and $250, another $50,000 pro firm account. With these two pro firms, you are already giving yourself a room for failure. If you fail one and you have a strategy that is consistently profitable, no matter what, no matter what, even if you are cursed from your village, one of that account is going to get funded. And once one gets funded, your goal is just to make 10%. Even if you have a $10,000 account, your goal should just to make 10%. $1,000, stop at that level and request a withdrawal. $5,000, that's fine. 10% of $5,000 is $500. Stop there, request a payout. And reinvest at least 50% of all those proceeds in buying different pro firms. And then repeat this circle, trust me, within a year, if you start with $100,000, you're going to be on less than a million dollars. It's not magic. I've done it. I've documented the whole process. Let me know what you think, which method you've tried on the comment section. Save this video for later. Share it with someone. Click that plus button to follow my page. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.